And we're going to check in again with Jess and Dana now, who are with a personal hero of mine, my girl crush, Taylor <laughs> Dean, one of the only female blimp pilots in the entire world. That's right. She is. We were just talking about that. You know, it is that time of year when you look up in the sky, and if you're like me, you get so excited. Yeah. You go, oh, my God, it's a good year blimp. It's such a cool thing. And it's actually here again in Pasadena for the annual Rose Parade. And joining us, like you mentioned, Taylor Dean, one of the only two females in the world who fly blimps. Her unique job includes the bigger, faster, and stronger blimp called Wingfoot 2, and there's the newly christened Wingfoot 3. Good morning, Taylor. It's great to see you. Good morning. I'm excited to be here. I had I had the pleasure of flying with you last year yep. we went up in the in the blimp and, and it is such an incredible experience if you ever get the chance to do it you know I think for people who see it they might not realize what it's like obviously to fly a blimp and the sensation there we are walking out to it it's almost like you're in a balloon it's so gentle that's what I could say as someone who was wow, riding in it you yeah, it's so peaceful when you're up there. Yeah. And, you know, I, I always like to explain it like uh, you're at a ship out at sea. It's really uh, a great experience for everybody who goes on board. I always wonder about winds, and I know in the forecast there are winds like today and maybe yes. a little bit tomorrow. W when can you not fly the blimp? We tend not to fly in high winds. Santa Ana winds can, right. can keep us on the ground. Anything over 30 35 knots on the ground is too much for us. Mm. But tomorrow does look much better than today. And flying a blimp, I would imagine is completely different than flying any other type right. of aircraft, right? You do have some similarities. You know, we still use airspace. There's still uh, systems that are the same, but you know, we, we have the helium, which is the biggest yeah. difference for us. It's interesting, you know, you t think about people who have the coolest jobs in the world. You'd be one of them, Taylor. You're at a cocktail you. party, and, and people say, what, what do you do for a living? And you're like, I fly the Goodyear blimp. What, what do people say when the, they... They often don't believe me. They're like, wait, say that <laughs> yeah. again? You know, so it's, it's always a surprise and shock, and then it goes on to about 20 questions after that, so... Well, how did it happen for you? Was it something you always wanted to do, or...? Uh, you know what, I just got, I got kind of uh, fortunate that the job opening happened to be right about the time I was looking. So I, I had flown in Santa Monica, I was a flight instructor, for a period of time and I remember while I was there instructing one day the blimp came in and did a low approach yeah. and everybody went out the you know went outside and stared at it just in awe you know and I thought that would be such a cool job and I guess what was it four years later I finally got the opportunity to fly for Goodyear and I had to had to take my opportunity so that's unbelievable. You know, it's so cool when you actually think like tomorrow when you're looking up mm -hmm. and you're like, that's Taylor. Yeah. You know, we saw yeah. her. Yeah. You're going to be flying over the game tomorrow, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah, I'll be over the Rose Bowl game. Yeah. How, do you, how, how long can you fly up for one, like without coming down? The blimp can fly over 20 hours with full oh, really? fuel. Oh, yeah. We can fly for a very long time. Well, you know, speaking of flying, I know Jess got to go up in the blimp, but not everyone can. You kind right. of reserve that for special privileges. How, explain how that works. Uh, we offer rides to customers, you know, as an appreciation for their business. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, we offer rides. We donate rides to charities. So if you're a 5013C, you can apply, yeah. and we'll give you a blimp certificate. And then the general public can go in and bid on that certificate. Yeah. And as you know, as we were looking at some video, you guys have, an, I mean, the, the Goodyear blimp, like we said, bigger, faster, stronger. Yeah. There's a wing foot two and a wing foot three. How has it changed over the last couple of years with these new additions? Well, the wing foot two and three are, are exactly the same type of airship. It's just the last of the fleet that we changed over to. But mm -hmm. we've had, since we went into this transition for the past, since 2014, we've gone from, you know, World War II technology to state-of-the-art, yeah. you know, faster, stronger, uh, more maneuverable airship. You know what I wonder is, as now with drones up in the airspace, is that ever an issue for you guys? I know it's like becoming kind of a, a thing to watch out for. We haven't had any issues with drones yet. I'm sure there'll, there'll be a time right. because, you know, they're everywhere. They are everywhere. They are. Exactly. Look at, and when you watch a shot like that, you see the That's Hollywood beautiful. sign. I mean, it must be, it looks you have the world's <laughs> best view. We do. The vantage from point from the blimp is, is amazing. Well, we're so excited about seeing you up in the air tomorrow, and I'm so glad to meet you and yeah, just know that you're up there. It's really cool. Congratulations on literally the coolest job in the world. Thank you. Thank you're you, so Taylor. Cool. Happy New Year to you. Yeah, Once again, you. you can watch the Rose Parade right here on KTLA. It's tomorrow. The pre-parade coverage begins at 6 a.m., and the 130th Rose Parade begins at 8 a.m. Taylor, thanks again. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll be looking me. for you in the sky. Back to you guys in the studio. Hi, okay. Chris and Christina. Okay, I have a quick question for yes. Taylor. Okay. Ask her how often she gets the lyrics to It Was a Good Day by Ice Cube quoted to her. Okay, he wants to know how often you get the lyrics <laughs> so It's I a Good it. Day by Ice Cube quoted to you. We 
actually got to meet Ice Cube. What? Really? Because of that song, <laughs> and he brought his whole charity in. Uh, he works with kids who don't have homes in downtown nice. Los Angeles, so he brought all of his charity kids That's in. That's amazing. We provided rides for the kids, <laughs> and we got to meet Ice Cube, and of course... Jessica, do you know the lyrics? That, so. Jess, uh, do you know I, the lyrics? I would do that for you right now, Chris, but I don't want to show off. <laughs> all right. So you I'm always have the best questions. Even, <laughs> even, even saw the lights of the Goodyear blimp, and it read Ice Cube's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you can figure out that last word. Right. It's a great song. Right. That was a good question. Thank you. Thanks, All right. guys. I'm here to help. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Be here all morning, folks. All right. Yeah.